The city was on the edge of bankruptcy. The Bronx was like a world of its own. In the early 70s, man, crime was like the major income of the Bronx. There were gangs literally in every corner. The violence was everywhere. You could feel the tension in the air. You could see the fights across the street. You could hear the shouts in the nighttime. The South Bronx Fort Apache was out of control. They were running through the streets. They were burning everything. I mean, pandemonium hit. We lost a member that they viciously murdered him out there in the street. Now it's an eye for an eye. The Bronx was going to be bathed in blood. How rumors spread. There was not a gang in the whole of New York that was not aware of what's happening. It was like the movie The Warriors when the ladies on the radio talking about, hey, boppers, um, you know, you got to make that move. Let's get down to it, boppers. We're going to have to do better out there. Peace after the treaty came instantaneous. President Young Sinners, Vice President Young Sinners, Vice President Young Sinners. When we gang busted, we stood in the same area. Now we are able to go here, go there, meet more people, unite with people. Here's where the whole thing started to change. Little by little, that's when the music started to come into the deal. Well, hip-hop came from gang culture. Herc started something his enemies didn't want to stop. It came in the form of music. It was more like challenging to dance now and not to fight. You know, we made a way to have fun, and we made a way to feel like we counted, and we made a way to show the world that we actually existed. Fantastic. 